Passengers is the latest movie to star Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. You've probably seen the advertisements for it, the trailers, the posters, because it seems to be everywhere. I know myself, I saw the trailer. It seems to be like every movie I've seen for the past three months, I've seen it there. That is a lot of movies. So they're advertising the heck out of this thing. So, you know, opening night, I'm there to see what it's all about. Just hoping that it's going to be fun. It is about a man who is woken early from cryostasis on this 130-year trip to a colonisation of a new planet type of thing. And that person's Chris Platt. And he is alone, doesn't know what to do. So look, the first 30 minutes of the movie is just Chris Pratt on this ship trying to figure out what the hell went wrong, living life to the excess, being lonely, being sad, being self-deprecating. And that's not really the Chris Pratt that I like. I like the Star Lord one, the one that thinks he's super cool, but not quite that way, that tries to do really smart things but fails miserably and has kind of quips. I like that kind of Chris Pratt, this kind of solemn, run down, not too happy. It wasn't really what I was looking for from that. Anyway, Jennifer Lawrence comes into the movie later on, maybe about half an hour in. And these two start having a romance and it's kind of fun to see them interact. And there's obviously a chemistry between the two and a charisma between the two. The two of them are two of the biggest stars in the world at the moment. They've got that X factor, they're likeable, they're watchable. And it's nice to see them interacting and having a bit of fun. Then there's a bit of conflict and then they feel the need to kind of thrust this story into it. You know, there's a climax or something that's going to have to bring them together. Oh my God, what's going to happen? It's so tense, it's so banal, it's so boring, it's kind of something that we've seen before and it's not that interesting and I was really disappointed I was hoping for something spectacular and it's really not not to say that it's a badly made movie it looks amazing the sets are pretty snazzy and overall it looks great like I said the, the, the chemistry between the stars is great what lets us down is the story and I don't feel that the story really justifies the budget or the stars that it's got. It feels very familiar. It feels like a story I have seen before but I can't quite put my finger on it. Only it's either a new lick of paint or a new lick of CG and put into space and it's all new but it's not. The characters themselves, the motivations that they go through aren't really fully fledged or fully thought out and they don't quite work. They add in this third character of the bar person, the bar robot android Martin Sheen who is basically there for one reason only, for them to have conversations or bounce thoughts off of so that we kind of know what they're feeling in that scene. You know they can't tell it through actions, they're telling you their conflict, their inner conflict through this discussion with the barman. You know we're not idiots, we, we know what somebody can see and if he shows the image we'll, we'll, we'll put two and two together and kind of justify what's happening here but it feels a little bit hand-holding is it a really bad movie no not really no everything is just kind of fine good try yep that's okay but ultimately it's let down by nobody reworking the script figuring out the story trying to sort things adding in little touches it's, it just doesn't work completely do you know what this movie is lacking? It's lacking heart. Everybody's doing by the numbers movie making and that shows. I was disappointed with Passengers. I was expecting more. And by the time I got into watching it, even after seeing the trailers all those times and getting kind of bored of seeing the same trailer 14, 15 times, whatever I saw it, I was kind of hoping that the movie was going to have more to offer me and it, I don't think it did. You even feel like the writing's lazy. There's a, a character added late on simply because they have to get to a certain place which they can't get to and this character will help them get there. So the character comes in and leaves almost as quickly as he arrives once he's served his purpose. I thought Passengers was lacklustre, not as good as I'd hoped it was going to be an alright one time watch. Would I rush out to the cinema to see it? Probably not. Overall, it left me feeling kind of downhearted. And usually, when I came out of the cinema, uh, people I'm with, I have a great big chat, a lengthy chat about what the movie was about, how much fun it was. When we got outside the cinema, we talked about what the weather was like and what we were doing with the next couple of days before Christmas. We had no conversation to have about the movie, which is probably the most damning thing I could say about it. It was instantly forgettable. I'm going to give Passengers two and a half out of five. And all right, one time watch if you're really interested. If you're, if you can wait. I'd wait for Netflix. Let me know what you thought of Passengers. Did I see it all wrong? Was it as banal as I said it was? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.